Namaste everyone and welcome. So here we are starting our Monday meditation and um, hope you're all doing well, had a good weekend. I'm just waiting for it to start up on YouTube and the other channels. All right, so we're starting. Anyway, hope all of you had a great Father's Day. Uh, whether your father was physically with you or you were not because of traveling or, you know, they really left the body. Regardless, uh, you know, we are very grateful for our parents, both father and mother. In fact, in the Chinese tradition, oftentimes the teacher is called Sifu, right? If you've done martial arts, Sifu, teacher, father. And you go to India, you know, teachers, great teachers are often called Babaji. Baba is father, Ji is respected. Anyway, so today we'll just have a short talk on the importance of spiritual practice or meditation to empower your week. You know, oftentimes people uh, think meditation is for therapy, for repairing something that broke. <laughs> Okay, I've known people who say, oh, I'm going to meditate because things are not doing well. I go, you're trying to do meditation to fix something. Uh-huh, okay, no wonder you have problems. Because you don't realize that meditation is not something that you do to fix something. Meditation is actually a way of life. And so I just want to build a, the premise here is meditation is a way to do several things. Number one, it's for purification. When I say purification, is to clean out a lot of negative thoughts and negative emotions that we build up. You know, just like you take a shower every day, at least most of you, depending on where you are. Of course, some places, uh, maybe if you're a super cold place, some people don't do it every day. But most of the places, you know, at least once a day, I take two, three showers a day. That's just the way I was trained to keep it not just physically clean because there's a way of using water also as a purifying agent to disintegrate negative thoughts and emotions. Anyway, that's beside the point. So you take a shower every day, physically, even though your body doesn't really get that dirty enough, you know, unless you're in some form of construction work or you're mechanic or, you're, you know, whatever it is that you causes physical dirt or, or stump, something, right? But you do it as a habit for hygiene. Well, when you do proper meditation, it's also like taking an energetic shower. In fact, <clears throat> the aura and the chakras get dirtier quicker than the physical body does. Because the physical body, you have to physically touch dirt. You probably have to a play, be a place where there's a lot of smoke or whatever to actually have that dirt on you, right? But energetically, when you get upset, when you get angry, when you get frustrated with people, you get people dump emotional crap on you. If you have a clever look at you, there's already gray clouds on you developing. Yet most people clean it up, you know, only on holidays. What do you mean the holidays? Well, depending on your religion, you go, oh, it's the whatever festival or whatever uh, holiday. Or oh, I'm going to go to church, temple, synagogue, mosque, or whatever your spiritual uh, practice is. People just do it because it's a holiday, a holy day. So they, it's like taking a shower, you know, once every few months. And you wonder, how come people cannot think clearly? <laughs> so one is purification. Number two, meditation and spiritual practice is also to spiritually connect. You know, oftentimes we wonder, how come, you know, we can't make good decisions? Well, you can't make deci good decisions for several reasons. One of them, if the aura is cloudy, right, whatever data that comes in from the outside is already filtered. Then when you're thinking about, okay, is option A better, option B, option C, which one is better? As you're even trying to figure these things out, the thought forms that were created before that you never flushed out, plus people's opinions, are like swimming in a big soup. No wonder you can't make good decisions. So meditation flushes it out so you have clarity. And of course, in addition to clarity, you want a higher perspective. Perspective from your spiritual self, from teachers, from guides, from God. So if the aura is dirty and full of <laughs> junk, even if the signal coming in is clear, it cannot get through. Too much noise. Right? So after you clear the aura and everything during meditation, when you're experiencing stillness, it is the stillness that allows the data coming in to be absorbed. And that's the thing people don't realize. They go, oh yeah, I'm trying to do this, a thousand things at the same time. Without stillness, it's just like things are moving, you throw one more thing in it and expect to see it. Haven't you noticed after deep meditation, 
or during deep meditation, you have an insight. Because finally, as they say in India, when the water is calm, you can see all the way to the bottom. Same thing. When the ore is clean, it's quiet, then the signal coming in is clear. You go, oh, that's what I should do. In fact, oftentimes when I meditate, I have a notebook next to me with a pen. And then, you know, in the middle of meditation, sometimes I get an insight. The minute I come back in meditation, I write it down right away. Because at that time, when my mind, my emotions are really at the minimum activity, then your intuitive faculty turns on, and that data coming in is clear. No, no noise. So I write it down, and then maybe an hour later, whatever, when I go to the office, I talk to my assistant. I say, oh, do this, this, and this. He goes, and my assistant, Carly, will always say, actually, I was just going to call you about that. You need to do this, and then something came up. I go, yeah, I know. She goes, how do you know? Mm -hmm. In meditation, I just had an image, a feeling, a sensation, uh, whatever, and so I wrote it down. She goes, yeah, exactly, that's what we need to do. How do you know? Connection. Download. You know, people keep talking about download this. Oh, I got the download. Look, you might have get a, a download of a file on the internet. If your desktop has so much stuff in it, you probably couldn't find it. And even if you could, do you have the applications to open that file? I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Exactly the point. Every time there's confusion, that's because the data is not being interpreted because there's too much noise. So meditation is one of those simple things, and it's free, <laughs> that if you start your day, start your week with proper meditation, you purify the aura and the chakras, you increase your spiritual connection, then afterwards, here's another thing. After meditation, you already come out with a cleaner aura. Mind, emotions, and thoughts are clear. You have a strong spiritual connection. So as you walk into your day, walk into your week, you're seeing things clearly. Make sense? And from there, there's one more benefit. When the crown chakra is very, very activated, this is a chakra of direct knowing. The word direct know the word direct knowing is what most people call intuition. You know, when you say what is intuition? Uh, I just know stuff. What do you mean by that? Well, yeah, I just know stuff. So to make it easier to understand, my teacher, Grandmaster Sokoksu, he said, direct knowing is knowing something without having to study. In other words, you know something not because you gathered so much data and made a conclusion. You just know. It's, like, it's just like you walk into work, you know, everybody's thinking and planning and, and discussing stuff left and right for hours. You walk in, you go, uh, it's obvious, you do this. They go, wow, how do you know that? Uh, it's obvious. Have you had that experience before? When well, people are going through that mess, you just go, right there, it's obvious. And I remember many times... When my teacher was here physically um, in classes, he'll have the students have discussions. Okay, let's have a discussion on karma. Let's have a discussion on spiritual practice. Let's have a discussion on loving kindness, whatever it is. So he let people discuss. And then, you know, let's say a group will come up and start talking, uh, giving a summary. You know, they go round and round in a circle. He goes, oh, so what you meant is this. It's just like, cut to the chase. <laughs> you know why? There's clarity. And that's one of the benefits of meditation is you have clarity. Instead of going around in a circle, you go, well, you just go, it's obvious. Make sense? And another thing which is the benefit of starting your day with meditation is protection. You go, what do you mean by protection? Oh, after meditation, you put a quadruple layer super shield. You don't have to. Like qualities attract. Again, a lot of people keep quoting uh, law of attraction. But they only look at the positive side. They don't realize there's the negative side. In other words, law of attraction is neutral. It's whatever you have inside, that's what you attract from the outside. So if your aura is filled of anger, stress, worry, and everything, the law of attraction is working against you. Because you're going to attract negative energy. So that's why you keep thinking, oh, I need to protect myself. Well, that's because you have the attractive force from the inside. 
But if you do your meditation on a regular basis, you keep your aura and chakras clean, as that negative energy is being displaced by the higher frequency of divine energy, you don't really need to do a whole lot because by itself, your the particles of your energy is vibrating higher. Negative energy doesn't have anything to stick. Case in point, negative people don't like you. So be grateful. Make sense? You know, a lot of people have heard of people, oh yeah, I need to create this spell. I need to work a thousand pounds of, of crystals. You look like spiritual Mr. T because I need to protect myself. If you just first clean up your consciousness, 90% of the crap that's coming to you will stop. Have you noticed after meditation, things are so quiet and still? Now, here's the interesting part, and I know some of you might not like this. Some people say, yeah, but you know, when I meditate, I attract negative people. Why are you talking from both sides of your mouth? At one point, you go, oh, yeah, you know, I attract prosperity and love. And at the same time, you say, when you meditate, you raise your frequency, attract negativity. That doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. The higher your frequency is, right, the stronger the natural repelling force that you have. Now, you often hear, you often hear people say, yeah, but you know, when you're filled with light, you attract darkness. I'm going, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, but you know, the more you meditate, then you attract the dark forces because they don't want you to evolve. That's a bunch of nonsense. So, if that's the case, why bother evolving? You see, when people evolve and no, as they say, when bad things happen to good people, it's not because you're attracting psychic attack. That is the number one cop-out for a lot of people on the spiritual path. That's their always number one excuse. Oh, I'm becoming more sensitive, so people are attacking me. So, if I meditate, I, I get attacked, I attract a psychic attack ago. Ay, ay, ay. So for you, it's right. It's true. Because you created those thought forms. Clear? Anyway, in another session, I'll talk more about it. But that's basically what happens. Like qualities attract, opposites repel. As you keep raising your vibration, the negative energy doesn't have anything to stick to. But if a person is always angry and upset, I don't care how many... 10,000 layers of energy shields you have and crystals and spells. Nothing will help you because all of those are being bypassed if a person has so much anger resentment within them. But when you do a meditation, a spiritual practice, you meditate on higher principles, that's what you attract. It's just like when you meditation, you're sending out a very, very bright light into the inner world, attracting angelic beings that naturally come to your aid. Make sense? That's that. Simple. So if you start your week, start your day by meditation and raising your frequency, that's what you should expect. But if a person does their meditation, in the back of their mind, they keep thinking, well, if I meditate, people are going to attack me. Then you created your own thought form. You created your own consciousness that the more you meditate, this is what happens. So, self-fulfilling prophecy. If that's the case, you just wasted your meditation. Clear? Now, when we do meditation twin hearts, the beauty of meditation twin hearts is like this. If you just simply follow it, when we guide you, when you get the CD from my teacher and wherever you are in the world that do this, a lot of these things we just talked about are mitigated. The question is why? Because when you focus on your heart, your crown, you activate your heart, your crown, so much divine love comes through you. A lot of this anger, resentment, hatred are flushed out of your aura, displaced by this loving energy. And your frequency goes up. So after meditation, your aura is huge, it's clean, it vibrates higher. You have clarity, your intuition is activated, you have compassion for its other, towards others. What else do you want? The only thing that's missing is what? Consistency. That's one of the reasons why we're doing this Anchor the Light meditation. So for people who always have an excuse, I don't have the time, I don't know how to do it, whatever, well, guess what? You just need 
uh, per, point zero one pounds per square inch of force to press play on your phone, your iPad, your your computer to join us in meditation. You don't even have to think. You have to go step one in meditation. No, what do I do again? No, you just press play. Done. If you can't do that, you're not serious. How much am, how much am I charging on this? Nothing. What else? What other excuse do you have? Make sense? That's how you tell if a person's heart is in the right place. If they truly want to improve, they truly want to make a difference, they will take the time, the energy, the effort, the resources to move towards that objective. If not, what if it's free? What if they pay for it? Nothing happens. Nothing works. It all starts with, as Tony Robbins says, it starts with a decision. A decision leads to commitment. Right? Without the decision, nothing happens. You can have all the resources, all the opportunities in front of you. Until you press that button to move forward, nothing happens. So when all is said and done, whether you go, your life improves or go down the toilet, it's a matter of choice. Choice to accept what you have or choice to make it better. That's it. Meditation simply is a tool for you to get to your objective. Okay? So, as you join us for Anchor Light Meditation, we just have a few minutes of uh, spiritual teaching on top of it, so hopefully it will also feed your mind, your emotions, as well as feed your soul. Let's meditate. To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, and spiritual helpers, personally to my teacher, Master Tsohok Sui, Mahagu Jameling, we thank you for divine light, divine love, guidance, help, healing, divine protection. Thank you for spiritual oneness. Thank you for clarity. Thank you for divine protection. In full faith, so be it. Okay, put your hand like this. Gently tap your crown. Put your attention in your crown. Repeat silently. I am that I am. I'm not the body, I'm not the emotion, I'm not the thoughts, I am the soul. I am a spiritual being of divine intelligence, divine love, and divine power. I am that, the soul, the spiritual self. I am connected in one to my higher soul. I am connected in one to the divine spirit, the divine spark within me. I am a child of God, I am one with God, I am one with all. There is only oneness. And so it is. Be still. Just leave your awareness floating above your head. Like a brilliant light. And just say, I am that. A being of light. Maintain your stillness and awareness. Maintain your state of oneness and connection. Open your hands in blessing. Imagine the earth in front of you, the size of a little ball. Say, we are one. So be aware of your heart and your hands. Fill the earth with beautiful pink light. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Wherever there's hatred anywhere in the world, within me, outside of me, within my family, my friends, my acquaintances, my workplace, anywhere in the world, let me sow unconditional love. Where there is injury, let me sow pardon and forgiveness. Where there is doubt, let me sow faith. Where there is despair, let me sow hope. Let's recall people we know who are not as fortunate as we are and are struggling in many parts of their life be it their finances, their health, their relationships, their emotional mental health, and their speech or and or their spirituality. Visualize their lives turning around, rapidly improving, simultaneously blessing them with hope and with faith and a better life. So be it. So be it. 
Soviet. Bless them with hope and with faith and a better tomorrow, so be it. Where there is darkness, let me sow light. Darkness is the ignorance of one's true nature as a being of divine light. Bless every person every being on earth with divine light, with divine realization of hope their true nature, so be it. And where there is sadness, let me sow a tremendous amount of joy. We are one. Now be aware of your heart. Take a deep breath. Be aware of your crown and exhale. And stay there. Just be still. Be aware of your crown. Your crown is filled with so much golden light. Just let that golden light from your crown flow down through your hands and fill the entire earth. From the heart of God, through my soul, through my entire being, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with love and kindness. Let all be blessed with great joy and happiness, with understanding, harmony, and divine peace. Blessings be to all. May all be blessed. Bless your family with golden light. Your relatives the people you care about, your friends, relatives, acquaintances, people you work with. Let that golden light spread to the city, the state, the country. Just let that golden light keep spreading outwards from us, filling the entire earth with peace, with love, and with kindness. Blessings be to all. So be it. Now, Gently be aware of your heart, be aware of your crown, take a deep breath. Exhale and flood the earth with even brighter golden light. From the center of the heart of God, through my soul, through my entire being. May every person, every being in the higher worlds, middle worlds, even the lower worlds, let all sentient beings in every dimension, without exception, let every sentient being in every direction above and below in the higher worlds the higher frequencies all the way down to the lower frequencies may all beings without exception be blessed with God's unconditional love and kindness forgiveness with a spirit of reconciliation and atonement so be it may all beings be blessed May all beings in every dimension be divinely blessed by God, so be it. Be still and just let the blessings flow through us. From the center of the heart of God, may all be blessed with peace, love, and kindness, so be it. May all beings in whatever form be divinely blessed. With divine peace, divine love, and divine oneness, all is God, so be it. May all be blessed with peace, with love, and with kindness, so it is. Now gently lower your hands on your lap, palms up, keep your eyes closed, keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth. On top of your head imagine a beautiful golden flame just floating up there. You don't have to see it clearly, just be aware there's a beautiful golden light floating above your head. Be aware of the love within your heart, send a stream of love from your heart up, up to your throat, to the center of your head your crown and gently let it float closer and closer to that golden flame and enters that golden flame <sighs> and stay there be still allow your complete awareness to simply enter and melt into that golden flame now 
be still. Any sound, any noise you hear will just allow your consciousness to gently drift deeper and deeper into that golden flame. Be still and allow your entire awareness to just simply melt into that golden light. Every particle of your being is now swimming in that golden light. Be still. Be aware of the inner stillness, the beautiful golden light, and just simply let go and let things be now. Let go. Let go. Be still and experience your true essence. one.
gently very slowly very gently and slowly come back to your body move your fingers move your toes gently and slowly come back raise your hands in blessing once more first imagine your people the people you love in your life in front of you fill them with beautiful golden light may all of them be blessed with good health with happiness with prosperity and with spirituality so be it so be it so it is fill the earth with golden light now be aware of your feet and the base of your spine you can even use your hands project golden light downwards into the earth and verbally repeat after me let our beloved mother earth be blessed with divine light divine love and divine power let our beloved mother earth be healed regenerated and revitalized blessings be to our beloved mother earth and all her children and all of creation so be it so be it and so it is now open your palms in blessing and invocation to the supreme god divine father mother thank you to all the spiritual elders holy masters to all the saints of all traditions archangels holy angels spiritual helpers personally to my beloved teacher grand master Swakoksvi, mahaguji mailing we thank you for divine light divine love guidance help healing and divine protection thank you for blessing us with a loving heart an intelligent mind and a powerful will that we may be of service to others we thank you in full faith and so it is right we took you pretty deep we add some special sauce there <laughs> uh, in the end i hope you like it and just a short announcement while we're on it on wednesday for the anchor light wednesday evening the evening session we're actually having that as the full moon meditation okay so wednesday june 23rd 6 p.m california time and this is a few hours before the actual full moon, if I'm not mistaken. We, we, as much as possible, whatever the time of the full moon, we try to do it before. Of course, it depends on the logistics. But anyway, it's 6 p.m., so the Anchor Light Wednesday, you know, you're already joining us, a lot of you. That's going to be full moon meditation. All right, so bring your friends, your loved ones, and the ones who are new. Uh, just in case you don't know, uh, the full moon is a time that everything gets amplified, magnified. You know, like pouring fertilizer, everything grows. So, you know, for ordinary people who are not yet on the spiritual path, it's a time of crisis. Everything blows up. People on the spiritual path, since they understand it, they harness it. So it's a time of opportunity. So what you're going to do, and I'm going to repeat this again tonight, is uh, start writing down your goals, your aspirations, you know, what you want your job to be, you want to make more money, better relationships, better health. Uh, you know, you're trying to learn something. Whatever your goals and aspirations are, write it down. And after the full moon meditation, we have so much energy, thousands of people meditating. You have all that raw energy, well, raw energy, and you're just going to pump it into your goals and aspirations, give it, you know, booster rocket so that it'll travel faster in the inner world to manifest it for you, all right? So that's going to be this Wednesday, um, the evening, 6 p.m., Anchor the Life Meditation. So you don't actually have to set aside another time. It's what we do on Wednesday night anyway, all right? So we will see you tonight, so 7 hours and 25 minutes from now for Anchor the Light uh, Monday Part 2. Namaste everyone, you all take care, thank you very much for allowing me to serve you, and we will see you in a few hours. Take it care. Bye. God bless. And